बेटा इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री ना एक्सेप्शन होती है Inorganic chemistry is boring. It's illogical. It doesn't even make sense. People say you just have to remember every single line from NCERT. You just have to read it again and again and again. But then you realize whatever you studied yesterday, you forgot it already. And whatever you remembered, it's wrong because it's an exception. So then how the hell do people expect us to study inorganic chemistry? Don't worry because 6 years back even I was at your position. and i can actually understand your pain and if somebody might have shared this video to me back then my life would have been completely different right now so this video is an advice to my younger self and a one stop solution for you on how to study in organic chemistry how do you remember everything that you read and how do you revise and answer every single question from in organic chemistry So hello everyone welcome back and if you're new here my name is Tarun and I'm a recent graduate from IIT Kharagpur and instead of treating this like a regular video let's treat this actually like a game where at level 1 you're a complete noob in organic chemistry you know nothing and at level 5 you're a pro you're a god of inorganic chemistry also level 3 is an interesting one where we'll be talking about how do you actually remember all the exceptions of inorganic chemistry with proper logic behind everything but first things first So before we actually discuss about the strategy to remember everything and become the god of inorganic chemistry here is the updated syllabus of JEE mains and this is the syllabus for JEE advanced take a screenshot of this and after this video gets over verify if there are any mistakes in this or not i'm telling you this for the first time because when you actually try to find mistakes in something you look into it more carefully got it now before we actually move into the most important chapters let's answer one of the most important questions is ncert actually enough i would say 90% of the times ncert is actually enough but one major problem is that you don't know how questions can be framed from ncert and that's where reference books come into picture so firstly make sure that you go through each and every chapter of ncert at least 3 times now 4 times now 5 times now 6 times now how many ever times possible It's like when you look at a page in NCERT you should be able to tell whatever is there in that page. I mean I'll tell you how to remember everything that you read but these are some of the reference books that I want you to refer to once you become a pro at NCERT. Take a screenshot of it. Got it? Now once you have NCERT and other reference books in place make sure that you give equal importance to each and every chapter for JEE mains at least. And for JEE advanced I'd say give more importance to qualitative analysis, coordination compounds and P block elements. So now you know the syllabus well. You also know about the books that you have to refer to. So guess what? You have upgraded yourself to the next level. Students have a huge misconception about inorganic chemistry. They feel inorganic chemistry is just about remembering things, and that's where they fall into this loop. I mean, don't get me wrong; you have to remember a couple of things, but they are not a lot. In fact, everything in inorganic chemistry, including the exceptions, can be understood if you try to get the logic behind them. And there are very few students who try to understand the actual logic behind what's happening and why is everything happening in inorganic chemistry. And these people actually, you know, fall in love with the subject. I mean I'll tell you two of these amazing facts just after 2 minutes but before that these are some of the most important concepts of inorganic chemistry which you have to try to understand and also try to get them into your head properties of elements uses characteristics of compounds anomalous properties of elements and important compounds now among these anomalous properties and the trends in the properties are more important and then comes important compounds and the characteristics of compounds and finally the uses these things cover almost 70% of the questions in the exams and learning these things in the same order will get your confidence to the next level got it and once you're done with these things guess what you have again upgraded to the next level the level 3 which is the most important and also interesting level because there you have exceptions logic nahi yahan hai exception 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 अबे इंसेप्शन देख के इतना कंफ्यूज नहीं हुआ था जितना एक्सेप्शन ने कर दिया है Why fear? Because Tarun is here. I just told you that I'll be talking about two simple things, two simple facts which will change the way that you actually look at inorganic chemistry, right? So here you go. The first one: an atom does anything to attain stability. It can hybridize its orbitals, donate lone pairs, and do a lot of other stuff. So you just need to identify one thing: what does an atom need to attain stability, and how can it do it easily? Got it? No? Then play back and listen to this point again. Play back. Got it now. The second point: most of the properties of the elements are just the consequences of its atomic radius and ionization potential. So if you just remember these trends and how they affect other properties, you can actually skip remembering a lot of stuff in inorganic chemistry. Got it? So now what do you know? You know the most important books, the most important chapters, the most important concepts, and the key to stop remembering a lot of stuff in inorganic chemistry. So guess what? 
you have upgraded to the next level the fourth level where we'll be talking about remembering stuff like how do we remember a lot of stuff and how do we actually recollect whatever we write like how i'll make a proper video about how to make the best short notes ever but for now just remember that for inorganic chemistry your short notes would have like a lot of effect on your preparation a good short notes with proper visual cues and diagrams can boost your memory by around 300% because our brains process images 60000 times faster than texts so short notes with diagrams flow charts and images of the trends can actually boost your preparation to the next level and if you actually manage to make this guess what if actually upgraded to the boss level the final level level 5 Excellence is not an act it's a habit so whatever said and done especially for inorganic chemistry it's about active space repetitions of the material that you read the more number of times that you revise the better it is i'm not telling you to reread the same material and all you can actually test yourself by practicing a lot of questions on the same chapter or you can just close your eyes and try to recollect all the information that you just read from your brain because at the end of the day it all comes down to one and only one thing which is how many times did you actually come back and revise the things that you actually studied if you want to be the best you just have to come back and put in the work no excuses and no exceptions got it like literally start taking action i've made a lot of videos about how to study how to remember and all of those things but all of these videos will go in vain if you don't actually follow anything get serious with your preparation at least now this is the last chance this is one of the golden chances that you actually get in your life and please properly utilize it take it enough of the rant i've actually made one of the best videos about photographic memories so if you're someone who's interested in remembering a lot of stuff and you know if you're someone who's also interested in inorganic chemistry you definitely no nope. love watching it so here or here is the link maybe here here jo bhi hai click on it watch it because that video will actually save a lot of time for you going forward theek hai with that being said i'll see you in this or this jo bhi video bye 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 yo give it a stage in a minute i'm a eat you hell professor is in the house let me teach you i could defeat you with two hands tied and have you waking in the hospital like who am i